So the crowd here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas eagerly awaiting Cotto versus Mayorga. Yes, Ricardo Mayorga. Now just moments away from the opening bell. Antonio, what's going through his mind as he closes in on this high stakes showdown with a pot of gold could be Manny Pacquiao. Well, you know, he really feels that he's catching Cotto at the right time. You know, Cotto really hasn't been in a tough fight since his last fight with Pacquiao. And uh, Mayorga feels if he presses him early, he may get him out of his elements tonight. And now, how about uh, Miguel Cotto? I know you've called countless championship fights uh, over the years. What do you think is happening inside his head right now, closing in on this big You fight? know, he is calm, introspective, and people have been trying have tried desperately to figure out what Miguel Cotto's thinking during before fights, but I'll tell you one thing he might well be thinking. He knows that a possible fight with Antonio Margarito, which is the fight he's pointing toward, is in the balance, and a loss here would be devastating for the last third of his career. So we're close again as Cotto gets last minute instructions from the acclaimed Emmanuel Stewart in his second fight with Cotto. And there's Bayorga slowly making his way. From backstage here at the MGM Grand. Very dramatic. You know, this crowd is sizable and it is very fired up for this event. This guy tends to make emotions run high, that's for sure. Yes, he does, and he's one of those unique fighters that really is fueled by the dislike from an opponent. Yeah. You know, he gets angry, and that makes him a better fighter. He's not as good as Cotto technically, but man, he's gonna come out firing. Oh, yeah. Well, from Oscar De La Hoya and Shane Bosley to Fernando Vargas and Felix Trinidad, Ricardo Mayorga has insulted just about every opponent he's ever <laughs> faced. And for the most part, Cotto hasn't gone for the bait. Mayorga promises a fourth round knockout, and you just know that a seething Cotto can't wait to answer with his fists. I'll do him like this. Seven years ago, he could have been considered a good fighter and a good opponent for me. He's taking a lot of punches and he's not the same fighter anymore. Today, Koto doesn't have the heart to train and that's why it's an easy fight for me. He likes to get all the attention. He likes to, to try to take his opponents out of the minds. He's a pretty weird fighter, you know. He throws punches from everywhere and sometimes he uh, surprise you. So, sometimes he's a dig back, you know. I just try to be Miguel, you know, Miguel as always. He wants to step on my pride. When the fight comes, you hit him with anger, with hate. I feel pretty good and I feel strong. I want to knock him out in four rounds. I don't want to be a clown wasting my time. I'm Miguel Cotto. I'm going to be uh, the winner of this fight. Mayorga fills reporters' notebooks to hype the fighter to pump himself up or to psych out his opponent. He sure talks a good game. But now, the talk is over. It's time to fight. Boxing's wild man, Ricardo Mayorga, could be his last stand. This is all about getting a fight with Pacquiao. That's where you make your reputation. That's where the money is. And there are rumors of Mayorga having financial problems. He's, he's trying very hard to make himself more marketable to fight the world's best. And Antonio Tarver, he may want to make this a firefight for as long as he can. Yeah, and like I mentioned earlier, this guy is fueled by the anger, the dislike, the hatred. This is what he really focuses on before a fight. And I don't know how long you can keep that up. Maybe three, four rounds before the fight settles in, then he has to rely on his ability. ability. So that's what we're looking for, Steve. These early rounds are very important. Well, he's getting fist bumps from some of the fans there, ringside there. He's uh, much 
show is, as usual, a lot of bravado. And as mentioned, he's almost a 10 to 1 underdog. But could this turn out to be a closer fight than people actually believe? So Ricardo Mayorga on the edge of getting into the ring. There with his trainer, Luis Leon. He's got boxing lifer Al Banani in his corner as well. Some great characters led by this man in the blue and white. El Matador thrives on this, that's for sure. Al, your keys to victory for Ricardo Mayorga. Antonio said it well. Early is when he's got to be aggressive. He's got to let it all go. Try to catch Cotto early. Other fighters are hurt Cotto early in the fight. Make it rough. Even if there's a point or two deducted, what's the difference? Go for everything. And he's got to straighten out his right hand. He said, I've been working on it. We'll see in the fight whether that really happens. A wide right will not land against Cotto. He's had only one fight since the knockout loss to Shane Mosley in 2008. And he just turned 38, but his body looks cut. That's not always a true barometer, but it shows he's dead serious about winning this fight. Ricardo Mayorga in the ring and ready to take on the champion, Miguel Cotto. And there he is. The pride of Puerto Rico, a champ in three weight divisions, the huge favorite to win. But if Miguel Cotto loses this fight, as harsh as this sounds, he could become irrelevant. What would happen to rematches with Antonio Margarito or Manny Pacquiao? Antonio, tonight the stakes are higher for this man, Miguel Cotto. Yeah, they're very high. You know, he's been in some tough fights with the uh, Margarito fight as well as the uh, Pacquiao fight. And... And, and Mayorga feels that they're catching Cotto at the right time. Tonight, if this fight is a very tough fight for Cotto, it's safe to say that he may not be up for the task. That remains to be seen. Emmanuel Stewart uh, said, uh, how can you plan for this fight with Mayorga being so unpredictable? Is there really uncertainty there, or is it a smokescreen? Al, your keys to victory for Miguel Cotto. Well, for Miguel Cotto, and there's a reason he's a 10 to 1 uh, favorite. He's got great technique. He needs to step in with the jab, get inside those wide punches of Mayorga. And then once he's in there, the vaunted left hook of Cotto, he should rip them as left hooks to the body and head. And his right hand has improved a lot in recent fights uh, under Manny Stewart and even before that. That punch works against Mayorga because he can be hit with straight punches. So much passion going into this fight for the fighters and the fans. Can't wait to see how this one comes out. Al, let's check the numbers for Cotto and Mayorga as we go to the tail of the tape. Mayorga wants to a fight that is not fought on the inside, and his height and reach advantage are things he wants to use in this fight. Even though Cotto will box from time to time, I don't think Cotto wants to be on the end of all those punches. And the notable rules for tonight's WBA championship. The unified rules as we know them, no standing eight, no three knockdown rule, only the ref can stop the fight. Fighter can't be saved by the bell in any round. If there's a clash of heads that causes this fight to be stopped before four rounds, it's a technical draw. After that, they would go to the scorecards. So we are set for Miguel Cotto versus Ricardo Mayorga for the WBA Super Welterweight Championship. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, Nevada for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Top Rank Incorporated in association with Koto Promotions, Don King Productions, Tecate, Cerveza con Carácter, and Showtime Pay-Per-View. 
This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Aurelio Fiengo, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Bill Brady. Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Skip Avancino, TJ Day, and Pat Lundvall, with the executive director, Keith Kaiser. Our physicians at ringside, doctors Anthony Ruggeroli, Al Cabana, Jay Coates, and David Watson. Our timekeepers at the bell also keeping count of the knockdowns tonight, James Cavan and Ernie Hauregi. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Dwayne Ford. Also from Las Vegas, Jerry Roth. And from Scottsdale, Arizona, Chris Wilson. Our third man in the ring, our referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Robert Bird. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Super Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, Live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim, fighting out of and representing his home of Managua, Nicaragua. He weighed in at the super welterweight limit of 154 pounds. His record stands at 29 wins, seven losses, one draw, and one no contest, with 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBA number six super welterweight in the world, here is the fearless former two division champion of the world, introducing the colorful challenger, Ricardo El Matador. Mayorga! And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with white trim. He hails from Caguas, Puerto Rico, and weighed in at 154 pounds. His record, 35 wins, two losses, with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his 18th world title appearance, here is the four-time world champion in three weight divisions. Please welcome the defending WBA super welterweight champion of the world, introducing Miguel Cotto. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Robert Bird. Gentlemen, you better listen to what I've got to say, okay? You've had your instructions in the dressing room. The only thing I'm going to remind you of now is when I say stop, what that means is stop whatever you're doing, give me a clean break. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Right here on the belt is going to be good. Anything on the belt here is going to be good. Both of you gentlemen are champions. Fight like them. Back to your corners. Go. A crazy wild fight expected. Tremendous anticipation here in the arena. Will Cotto be able to do what he wants or will he be forced out of his rhythm? Can Mayorga back up his bravado with the predicted early knockout? And will he charge out with a home run swing? The big overhand right. The opening minutes could be crucial. Two guys who can't wait to get at each other. Robert Byrne brings them together. This crowd at a fever pitch. We're underway for Cotto and Mayorga. Remember what Mayorga told us at the fighter meeting? I want to cut him, I want to knock him down, or I want to knock him out in round one. We'll see. That's a tall order against Miguel Cotto. Right on top of each other here, right at the outset. No question, Cotto, the more polished of the two, has the ability to box, quick instructions, and cautioning. That's a, must By be a, a world record. We're 20 <laughs> yeah. seconds in, and Robert Byrd has issued a warning to Mayorga already. 
Cotto wants to make Mayorga miss, but plan A to get inside. Mayorga's wide shots with short, precise punches. Whoa, some great action here at the start. Mayorga with a wide right, and he gets countered by a left hook by Cotto. Good exchange there, huh? If Mayorga's punches is straighter, as you pointed out, what a difference that could make. But that's a big if. Right hand chopping to the head by Mayorga. And we know Mayorga can take a punch. It's going to take a lot to really stop him, hurt him, and knock him out. And Mayorga's already landed a couple of good right hands. And Cotto, throughout his career, has been hurt Ooh, early body. in fights. Big body shot. Mayorga says, you didn't hurt me. Mayorga's so dangerous and so vulnerable. A recipe for excitement. He'll swing for the fences. Wild punches from all angles. Banging to the head with that right hand, Mayorga. This is really what kind of what we expected. It's going to be a shootout for however long it lasts. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a tactical fight. Mayorga, a street brawler. Cotto's jab has been pretty effective early in this round. Whoa. A wild swing and a miss by Mayorga just as Bird was getting in. Mayorga tried to shake hands with Cotto, and Cotto said, uh-uh. All business. Under a minute left in round one. Another couple of chopping right hands to the head by Mayorga. Mayorga talking to Cotto, taunting him even after the fight buildup, during the fight. No let up. Mayorga has to feel happy that he has been able to get a few of those right hands in. But Cotto has also done some very good work here in round one. Left hook to the body by Cotto. Mayorga just shakes it off. Oh, a left hook to the chest by Mayorga. And that nice right hand got in. That's a beautiful hook by Cotto just landed. Well, it doesn't look like Mayorga's predictions will come true in round one. They are trading big punches one at a time. Back and forth action. Scintillating first round. Wow. Just a matter of time, the head is up. This is your key. That's what you're doing. You're breaking them down slowly. Gasoline. Miguel Cotto getting off with this left hook to the head of Mayorga in a wild exchange. Now, he doesn't want the wild exchanges. And then Mayorga able to land a couple of chopping right hands even behind the ear. Yep. And then Miguel Cotto coming back later in the round. Yeah, they both had moments in that round. It was a very close round. And electric because you got the feeling some home run, home run punch was going to land. Yeah. Little uh, blood on the brow of Miguel Cotto. You see it right there, a little redness. Manny Stewart sends him out for round two off uh, a tremendous first round. Manny Stewart once trained at Mayorga, believe it or not, for about a week. And he said, I couldn't take it anymore. And I left. <laughs> he and Cotto have, and this for this fight, though, and we visited Mayorga, he trained seriously for this fight. Make no mistake about it. Yeah, somebody said uh, that got it up to about five. Nice left hook by Mayorga. Right hand by Mayorga. Chopping away at Cotto. Ramming shots to the head of Cotto. Uppercut by Mayorga. Chopper right hand has found a home, and the worst thing that Cotto can do is let Mayorga get any confidence in this fight early. But Mayorga is hittable. He is a target when you get into a brawl, a war. Let's see what happens. Good body work by Cotto there. Mayorga now dancing around. And you said it, Antonio. How long can the adrenaline of Mayorga last before the skill of Cotto takes over? But we're still in the adrenaline period. <laughs> Yeah, Mayorga historically always starts off with a barrel of energy. Then we'll see what happens down the road. He hurt Shane Mosley early, but there's that nice right hand by Cotto. And he had, he had surgery on his shoulder and says he's delivering the right hand better now. And then Mosley kind of hurt Mayorga at the end. Just a little bit. With a yeah. second to go, knocked <laughs> yeah. him out. Just a smidge. Halfway through the second. And a brilliant fight. And I mean fight. 
There's the jab by Cotto. Trying to keep Mayorga at bay. Yeah, Cotto just going to have to stay cool, calm, and collected because it seems like Mayorga is fighting in spurts. He cannot fight at that intensity for long and just don't get hurt while he's at his best. Got to be patient here. Definitely. Yeah, you can tell uh, Mayorga's marshalling his energies within the rounds. Yeah, he's taking a little breather from time to time. Regrouping. Uppercut blocked by Cotto. Cotto comes back. Cotto with a jab. Counter left hook by Cotto was beautiful on an uppercut that missed by Mayorga. And then Cotto missing with a big <laughs> wide right. Look at the reaction by Mayorga. Oh, what a left half hook, half uppercut by Mayorga to the chin. Mayorga's doing commentary in the fight while he's fighting. That's intriguing. <laughs> Twenty seconds left in the second round. Scheduled for 12 for the WBA Super Welterweight Championship. A little flurry there by Mayorga. Our translator, Felix De Jesus. Okay, sit down. You got to keep working the jab. And you got to keep your hands up. The right hand has to go over his left jab. Champion. You got to put the right over the left jab. Mayorga trying to land the. There's the right hand he's, that he's been trying to throw missing against my against Cotto and that's the right hand he wants to land and those are not too straight tr tr tried the uppercut there and couldn't land it and that was that kind of half left hook uppercut that he landed uh, a little bit during the round but that was a Cotto round for the most part Mayorga standing between rounds a highly entertaining first two rounds here in Las Vegas round three Mayorga Comes out with a big right, just loading up with that right hand. Cotto in the black, Mayorga in the blue with the white trim. Nice left hook to the neck by Cotto. I mean, you, you, you have to love Mayorga. Win, lose, or draw. He's never been in a boring fight. A man no. always throws it out there and put it all on the line, and uh, you got to love it. He's a fan favorite. And when you combine it with Cotto, who also is very seldom yeah. in a fight that's exciting, you have to get something that's fun out of it. Stirring action here in the early going. Nice little dance step by Mayorga. Manuel Stewart used to call his former fighter Tommy Hearns the Elvis Presley of boxing. Something exciting always happened. You could say the same for Cotto in most of his fights as well. Exciting in and out of the ring. And like we mentioned earlier, you know, if Cotto is allowed to fight at his pace comfortably yeah. like this, you know, it's going to take one of those punches that he don't see to slow him down. Cotto just walked into a right hand right to the chin. And there's the left hook of uh, of Cotto. And Mayorga says, come on. Mayorga inviting Cotto in. Come on, fight me. Keep coming, he says. This is unbelievable. Crowd in a frenzy. <laughs> he just stays there in the corner and invites Cotto in. But look at Miguel Cotto. What a cool customer. Yeah, he's not going to get goaded into that. He's not going to get baited. That's what Mayorga wants. Oh, is that an amazing sequence? And what an amazing sequence in which nothing really happened yeah. and it was exciting. Exactly. It reminds me, it reminds me of the time he dropped his hand, stuck his chin out, and Tito Trinidad hit him with two solid left hooks, <laughs> and the fight was over a little bit after that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, be careful what you wish for. An, an interesting display of the patience and the poise of Cotto, and now look at him go to work on the body. He's a good fighter. Miguel Cotto with the jet, looking extremely confident here. Bouncing up and down, up on his toes. My, my yoga is still dangerous. He's trying yes. to sneak something in, a big punch in here and there. I mean, Cotto has to be on his P's and Q's tonight. 
Yeah, you're absolutely right. Still, that right hand could get in there and hurt him. One of those fights you have to be so focused against a guy like Mayorga. Final seconds of the third round. Oh, a nice right hand to the chin. Mayorga says, you didn't hurt me, Miguel. And he almost escorted Miguel into the corner. Come on back. You're wasting punches. Now we're going to the fourth round. You gotta sit down for a while. Sit down, sit down. You gotta keep with that right hand working. How about this for taunting, Al? It's amazing the way Priyanka is just taunting him, asking him to come forward. I've never seen anyone that animated in the corner. And even between rounds, he refused to sit down. His trainers were saying, sit, sit, sit. And he continued to stand. Yeah, he's amped up. And what he was trying to do right there is to try to trick Miguel Cotto in all-out brawl, a fist of cups, to give him an opportunity to land a big punch. Round four scheduled for 12. Mayorga continues to be so animated. And, of course, for the most part, you don't win fights by talking in the ring. That was a big left hook that they, uh, that Mayorga just landed. And there's Cotto with an uppercut, but it may have come up short. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was our job. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, talking. You know, the jab, the right eye of uh, Mayorga looks like he's got some issue with it as well. Cotto bouncing around. And one of the stories of this fight, I think, is the right hand of Cotto, which, you know, he had this, the uh, repair of the shoulder by, with a, um, an operation, uh -huh. and they said it was better, and truthfully, it is better. He's throwing it much better and than Eman before. Emmanuel Stewart said he doesn't, he can't recall Cotto really ever knocking anybody out with the right hand. It's usually the left hook, of course. That's his trademark punch, and he is a natural lefty. And he's really getting his jab working this round yeah. beautifully. And I think it's safe to say, as every round goes on, my, for Mayorga, it, it, things become more difficult because he tends to not be so effective in those later rounds. And, and we knew that. You know, we yes. knew that the early rounds would be some of the most uh, competitive rounds. Yep. Well, four was the magic number for uh, Mayorga. He said he would get Cotto out by four. Right there, they exchanged left hooks, and those are the type of punches that Mayorga is depending on to hurt Cotto. The crowd so into it, reacting to everything. Nice right hand, and then a slip by Mayorga on the Takate sign. For a moment, I thought maybe Mayorga hurt his his uh, his foot, but it appears that he's okay. Both coming forward at the same time. You know, Mayorga's not by nature a great left hook artist, but he's finding some opportunities for that punch. I can't punch. Kodos is much better, of course. It was the right hand against Cotto that got in against Yuri Foreman at Yankee Stadium back in yep. June. Mayorga's squinting with the right eye. I'm not sure if there's a problem, but we'll see. Good body shot by Mayorga. He put all of it, he had, all he had in that shot. And a low blow by Miguel Cotto. Chopping right, and Ooh. right and left. A combination. Some of that got in, not all of it by Mayorga. Some of it was blocked. Cotto smiling. <laughs> Cotto. Returning the favor, giving him a little bit of Mayorga. I think. Cotto's wife. Going wild. Melissa well, quite happy at that turn of events. So what I, I think now, a lot of that, but a lot more <laughs> than Cotto wanted to get in got in on that yeah, exchange. A more pressure on him now. A little pressure. We're giving him a lot of space. Let's start pushing him now. At 
the end of the round, one of the one of a number of great action sequences in this fight. Mayorga was able to get in several good right hands. They're delivered awkwardly, but they can land and they have power. But that's where the smile started on Miguel Cotto's face, trying to suggest that I wasn't hurt. Yeah, he definitely got his attention. Okay. And round number five. A sizzling affair here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Mayorga checking back to see how close he was to the corner. Left hooks to the head by Cotto. Okay, says Ricardo. Come on back and try that again. And Mayorga with a left uppercut that got through the wickets. Uh, Cotto with a great uppercut that got through. Another one. Another jab now. Crowd going crazy. Now Cotto is taking it up a notch because of the, the, the combination that he got hit with at the round three and he's bringing the pressure right now. Now, Miguel Cota still has to be very careful not to attack wildly. Yes, he does. After round four, I'm sorry. Yes. Cotto bouncing shots off Mayorga's head. A look at press row scoring and uh, a two-point victory uh, in the unofficial cards by Kieran Mulvaney from ESPN, Lance Pugmire from the uh, Los Angeles Times. But uh, Diego Martinez has it the way I do all four rounds for how do you have it scored, Anthony? I actually gave the last round to uh, Mayorga okay. because he, I, I think he did a lot better than yeah. he did previously. That was the one he could have won. Mayorga missing with an uppercut attempt. But Cotto is determined to put some hurt on Mayorga right now. This is a, yep. a, a, a changing of the uh, guard right now because Cotto, ooh. Oh, nice right hand. Another overhand right by Mayorga. Looking impressive here, missing there. <laughs> Trying to end it on one punch, right? <laughs> well, and what makes this fascinating, we know Miguel Cotto, as great a warrior as he is, and only twice has he failed to win in his career, but he's been hurt in seven or eight fights. So it can happen at any moment with him, and that's what creates the suspense. And both Cotto's uh, losses by TKO versus Manny Pacquiao and Antonio Margarito. Uh, Mayorga with four KO losses. Mosley, De La Hoya, Trinidad, and his first pro fight. Wicked exchange there. Cotto getting the better, finishing off with a brilliant left hook upstairs. I tell you, if Mayoga is in the type of shape that I believe he is, he's going to continue to try. Round after round after round, he's going to be in this fight to the end. But now it's almost like target practice, a confident Cotto. And then Mayorga comes back with an overhand right to the head. Some resounding exchanges. A fight just chock full of highlights. That was blocked by Mayorga's gloves. But the crowd reacting. Left hook to the chin by Cotto. Final seconds of round five. The action doesn't let up. Right hand by Mayorga. Miguel Cotto, early in the round, getting Mayorga against the ropes and working the body and that beautiful left uppercut. And Mayorga, of course, as is his won't, trying to get him to come in and make a silly mistake. Instead, in the center of the ring, where Cotto wants to be, lands great combinations, including the left hook. Cotto doesn't want to fight off the ropes. Now, they have a common opponent, Shane Mosley, in a close decision with uh, loss to Cotto and, of course, knocking out Mayorga. Yeah, you know, Styles make fights again. Yep. Exactly. I just want to wipe off the back. Not a lot said there. Round six. Thank you. They told us, uh, Emmanuel Stewart and Cotto, they want to capitalize on mistakes that Mayorga makes. And I think that is exactly the difference in this fight. Cotto has capitalized on some of the technical mistakes of Mayorga. Yeah, we knew Mayorga wasn't as technical as Cotto, but like I said, he still has a puncher's yep. chance. And the way he came out through that left foot right hand just now, yeah. he's trying to... Uh... Absolutely, and there's the numbers. You know, uh, Cotto landing 
getting more volume, but Mayorga has landed his share. He's bounced some right hands off his head and thrown some very good body punches as well. And Mayorga a little busier in terms of number of punches than we would have expected. Oh, wow. Two swings and a miss. The whirlwind in the blue trunks. Little twisting left uppercut on the inside by Cotto. Yeah, as long as the, you know, the rounds are continuing like this and, and, and Cotto don't get hurt with anything, I think it, the fight is in his favor as, as long as it goes. Miguel Cotto, and I'll tell you something else, Miguel Cotto defensively, and you know, he's improved his defense over the years. In this fight, he's slipping a lot of punches. And of course, you can do that against Mayorga. And remember, Manuel Stewart said they want to slip punches. They don't want to block them because if we block them, Mayorga stays on balance. Yeah, he throws a lot of his punches wide. He's not the most technical fighter, and that's why you're able to get up under a lot of those shots. But it's the one that lands that rings your bell. <laughs> As you guys point out, the longer this goes, the better it would seem for Miguel Cotto, as long as he stays out of harm's way. The jab of Cotto, we just saw it there again, is one of the headlines of this uh, fight, and he has a good one. Approaching the final minute of round six, the WBA Super Welterweight Championship. Good body work by Mayorga. Stepped in with a combination. And the jab, shot out by Cotto. Trying to keep Mayorga at a distance. In the Mosley fight, Mayorga's punches started to lose steam around the middle rounds and into the late rounds. And a little bit of that seems to be happening now, although he lands the right there, but he's slapping with his punches. Nice a more. uppercut followed by a left hook by Mayorga. A nice counter left uh, hook to the head by Cotto. And a right uppercut on the inside by Miguel Cotto. Final seconds of round six. Miguel Cotto settling into a nice rhythm here, but he's got to be careful with Ricardo Mayorga. Jim Gray is standing by with somebody I think you'll recognize, Jim. Indeed you will. The great Mike Tyson, former heavyweight champion of the world. Mike, what's your assessment of what you're seeing here tonight? And you got your daughter, Milan, with you as well. What do you think of this fight? You know, Jim, you know, these guys are way past their prime, of course, but you know, these are just guys, two guys um, that's putting on the best show they possibly can at this time. We're just trying to get a payday without getting hurt, of course, you know. That's a rather harsh assessment. Well, you know, um, it's a reality because no one's trying to hurt. The object of fighting is either the total destruction of your opponent or his surrender. And we don't see the, um, we don't see either of that about to happen. Huh? What do you think about Pacquiao and Mosley coming up May 7th? Wow, you know, from the assessment of Mosley last fight, it doesn't look like he's going to do well. Just from that assessment alone, you know. But if I had a quarter for every time um, there was an upset, I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> last thought I want to ask you, you talk to Floyd Mayweather quite a bit periodically and a little bit more than that. Do you believe he will fight again and that we will see that other fight with Pacquiao? Well, I don't know if him and Pacquiao are going to fight. I'm sure he'll fight again. You know, just to think that Pacquiao fought so, such um, two and nail fights with Marquez and and, and it's hard to believe this guy's off almost two years, and then he just totally um, overwhelmed uh, Marquez. You know? I don't know. It's going to be interesting, but if the fight turns out, I would just love to see the fight. I would love to see the odds if I can make a bet. Mike, always great to see you. Good luck with your show on Animal Planet. Thank you very much. All right, Steve, back to you. All right, Jim, uh, Mike Tyson returning to the scene of the infamous bite night against Evander Holyfield. I have to disagree strongly with his assessment of this fight. I think it's, they're both trying to knock It's each other. hard to impress Mike Tyson. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it must be, because these guys are hammering away. Ooh, Look at that. Body shot. Right there, Mayorga to the body, missing wildly with the wow. right hand gets it. Stinging right hand there by Mayorga. What an opening minute of the show. Oh, my. Great exchanges. Those are some, some heavy shots that Mayorga is landing right now. Uppercut. Uppercut on the inside. And that's going to be slowing Miguel Cotto down. These are heavy, vicious shots by Mayorga here in the seventh round. And he's winging away nonstop. One of the differences is Miguel Cotto has shown us all the big power. Punches that he lands, but up at 154 against a guy with a good chin, didn't go down, didn't get him out. Exactly right, Al. 
Mayorga is still there with that power. Another right uppercut by Mayorga. Mayorga's throwing that uppercut from way out. You look for Miguel Cotto to counter that with a hook. Body shot there. Mayorga said, you didn't hurt me. It's one of the best rounds Mayorga's had in this fight. Very active in this round. Doesn't look like a guy who's been so inactive. Very sharp. One fight in the last two years. Yeah, and that was a bad knockout loss to Shane Mosley. Although it was a pretty close fight up till uh, that last round. Mayorga just charging in, missing with most of those. But it looked good. Of course, Mayorga with a tune-up fight after that Mosley fight as well. Yeah, Michael Walker. Yeah. Against a, uh, yeah, a less experienced yes. guy. He had his way in that fight. Well, this was the best round Mayorga's had made right in the there. fight. Look and at him go continues. to town. It continues. Big round for Mayorga. That right hand, Boko Koto. And it hit him behind the head. He's, yeah. in, he's got some problems that now. Got my, that got Koto's attention. Mayorga looking to really pile on now. He's got 10 seconds. He senses that Koto is really hurt. Right up for Koto. Now sit down, sit down now. That was a good round. Okay, breathe deep. That was a very good round. Give him some water. Things started out well in that last round for Ricardo Marg. We saw a different uh, approach with that big body punch and ripping shots in the inside and the clubbing right hands. It was more energy than we'd seen from him in the last couple of rounds. And then he would really go to town. That uppercut, a big punch, and that right hand is the one you talked about, Antonio. Yeah, and if we get some replay at the end of this it, 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 uh, round, Cotto did not look well going back to his corner. And great camera work. They're, they're in so close, you see the sweat just flying up their heads. A concerned look on the face of Miguel Cotto as we enter into round number eight, scheduled for 12 for the WBA Super Welterweight Championship. Mayorga coming on in that seventh round, and he continues where he left off. Now, a key issue is the rabbit punching, and, and Robert Burns talking to Mayorga about it. Mayorga's responding by saying he's butting me, which I didn't see. Mayorga said he didn't hit him behind the head. He looked like he was talking in the side of the head, so I don't know. But Al, we talked about that uppercut. He's using that uppercut as a decoy. He's not following through the uppercut, but he's coming right over the top with the right hand. Yeah, that's true. Power punches overall, and that's that now a margin for Mayorga. And in the last round, Mayorga gained part of that edge. And some of the reason those power punches there are the body punching that Mayorga's done in the last three or four rounds. Again, Cotto wisely keeping it on the outside. Cotto's landed some monstrous left hooks in this fight. It just hasn't sent Mayorga down. And some beautiful jabs. Yeah, oh boy. Mayorga hammering away. Right hand to the head. Uppercut just missed by Mayorga. And then there was the counter from Cotto uh, with the left hook over, uh, just over that uppercut. I'm going to tell you, we look at Mayorga's style and we think he's this wild, out of control man. But this guy knows how to fight. I mean, sometimes you see him throw a per perfect one-two. He's very well, sneaky with it. Uh -huh. He said you'd see a fast, strong Ricardo Mayorga from the days against Vernon Forrest. This is the best he's looked in a long time. Oh, yeah. What a jab that uh, uh, Cotto just hit him with. And that swelling around the right eye of Mayorga could become an issue. Double left hook there by Mayorga to the body. A left uh, jab there by uh, Cotto. But Mayorga with the show of your punches. And Cotto stand in range for all these yes. shots, which I know Emmanuel Stewart yes. is telling him to move and give him angles. You are so right. You either want to be right inside against Mayorga or giving him angles, not in this punching range. Even with that, Cotto is still doing quite well, but he's taking punches. Oh, good sequence by Cotto.
And that temporarily slows down the challenger. And Cotto has gotten his jab out of mothballs again to have to, to punctuate what looks like a Cotto round. Nice straight right hand to the head by uh, Mayorga. Final seconds of round eight. Mayorga coming forward, but a big round for Cotto. Your jab is working still. Keep pumping that jab. You understand? Your jab, beautiful combinations. It makes up good. And the jab is working. Here's where Marga got the warning. Now, those, two of those punches were definitely on the back of the head. Uh, he landed the uppercut and then threw those, those punches to the back of the head. And Robert Berg gave him the, the warning for that. Cotto's jab, which Emmanuel Stewart just talked about, was superb in the last round. And the Mayorga coming forward, but again, that jab's a good effort, and there's a short counter left hook by Cotto that's so effective. Cotto's jab looked great uh, in the Foreman fight, and he's carrying it over into this one with Mayorga. The left hook of Cotto for years, one of boxing's most devastating punches. Went away for a while, but returned with a vengeance his last fight. He's gotten some good left hooks into the body here tonight. The press row scoring clearly a, a, a considerable edge. Martinez uh, and uh, with 79, 73, the biggest margin. And Kieran Mulvaney of ESPN 78, 74, as Lance Pugmire has it. Antonio, what do you say about this? I have it 78, 74 for the, for the chin. Left hand by Mayorga gets Cotto a bit off balance. Comes back with a series of jabs. to the head by Mayorga. Those punches were pushed a little, but he did land them. And uh, when he doesn't push them, they have lots of power on them still. I'll tell you what Mayorga has done for himself. He's behind in this fight, and unless he knocks out Cotto, he may not win. And there's some nice combinations, but he's raised his stock. To yes, some degree. Yes, he has, and it looked like he's uh, out off to a good start here. Yeah. I mean, he's landing a couple combinations. He's moving. There's that beautiful jab by Cotto. Yeah, this has been a very good first half of the round for Mayorga. Yeah, from a marketability standpoint, this is working. But there goes Cotto. Back comes Mayorga. And those punches were all pushed. Those were arm punches that didn't have power by Mayorga. Beautiful jab by Cotto. You know, you, you look at Miguel Cotto, and you have to say that his skill level is still very, very high. I don't think people can say that his confidence is eroded or that he doesn't still have a great skill set, because he does. Yes, he definitely have the skill set from the amateurs and from the amateurs and everything. But I tell you, 10 to 1 underdog, I mean, people yeah. expected him to come in here and blow Mayorga out. And he's still getting hit with counterpunches yes, right is. now. Yes, he is. Cardo Mayorga, not oh, giving up. Away. And Mayorga will probably now win this round because of the good start he had and the good finish he had. Final seconds of round nine. This is fun. Tremendously entertaining championship fight here at the MGM Grand. A very interested spectator. This is a man Miguel Cotto once again. He bludgeoned the face of Miguel Cotto. There you see the results of that fight, the 11th round TKO. And he's he's getting a little treatment from the crowd. Well, obviously because yeah. of the fact that the his hammer. gloves were found in the next fight against Mosley to be enhanced. Let's take a look at uh, that last round to moments that M Miguel Cotto early in the, or early and later in the round was very effective.
Picton. And then here comes Mayorga. Mayorga had gotten off to a good start in the round. And in the middle part, Cotto was effective. But then Mayorga came back, bombing him with those right hands. That's three or four unanswered right yep. hands. And I think they rocked Cotto. He threw a couple straight enough to yep. hurt him. Not yep. all of them, but a couple. Yes, he did. Cotto may be ahead, but we've had some oh, tremendous back and forth action. There's no no denying this fight has been fun. That it is. Round 10. <laughs> Cotto just showing his polish throughout. Mayorga showing his, his tenacity. And over 12 rounds, Mayorga is 4-2, and two, and Cotto is 4-1. and one. So both have been the distance and had success, more so for uh, Cotto, of course. The jab of Mayorga, not a weapon much for him, throws it there. One of the reasons Miguel Cotto has been a popular fighter is that he is, all, he is a vulnerable champion. Yes, he is. He's vulnerable in fights, and yet he's exciting, and mostly he wins almost so, all the time. So many people were impressed by uh, Cotto's footwork and his movement. In the last fight with Foreman, and he seems to have carried that over into this fight. Yes. He's, he's got to be in great condition. Yeah, he definitely is. The only thing I agree with uh, uh, that might be an issue for him, and Antonio hit on it, and he stayed in an area where Mayorga could hit him. He didn't get inside, and he didn't move around quite as much, and so there were times when uh, Mayorga could land those wide punches. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to be in the pocket against Yeah, Mayorga. that's exactly it. And, you know, Cotto has always been a good mover and a boxer. Yeah. I always thought when he was younger that he moved a little bit too much and didn't give himself a chance to put those combinations out. I but agree. now that he's gotten older, he's settled down a little bit. Now you can see his natural raw talent. That's a, that's a great observation and really true. And a lot of people probably saw, oh, what a, what a double, triple jab there by Miguel Cotto. A lot of people probably surprised that uh, Mayorga still has this much left in the tank. At this late point in the fight, now, now Cotto's had a very good 10th round. With Mayorga missing as much, you would think that Cotto would have more counterpunch opportunities to land something real big without taking a risk of uh, having Mayorga fire back or being out of position. There's that beautiful jab by Cotto again. That's been a very effective weapon throughout. Left hook partially blocked by Cotto. Right hand by Mayorga got in, tries to jump on top of Cotto, but Cotto Slips away. Udo Cotto doesn't want to get that close. And that uppercut of Mayorga made itself known at the last second of that round. Probably not enough to win it for him, though. We demonstrate how that jab got in for Cotto and how he used it repeatedly. There will be three of these that he will use uh, against Mayorga, and there he's been excellent with that punch. Well, that's the way you do it, isn't it? Yeah, but where's the right hand or the hook behind that? That's a I good mean... point. Boy, you're as hard to please as Mike Tyson, aren't you? <laughs> what a stickler. What a stickler. <laughs> he's right, though. Yeah. And there's the uppercut from Mayorga at the end of the round. Uh, that was maybe his best punch yeah. of the round. And then he followed yeah. with the hook also. Well, you know, what you just said speaks to the keys to victory. I said step in with the jab. He's willing to land the jab, but he's not willing to step in with it. And there you go. And uh, the oh, wow, wow, that's that's a big uh, okay. a big edge. What a disparity, huh? Okay. But you see the marks on uh, Cotto's face. He's been hit with some punches. Oh, yeah, he knows he's been in a fight. Round 11, they call them the championship rounds. Here we go. Re Ricardo Mayorga is still here. They both predicted this fight would end by the sixth round or earlier, and I think everybody thought that. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what. Mayorga knows he's in the championship rounds, and everything he's probably telling himself he needs a knockout. Yeah. So I, I want to believe he's going to head for the fence here. And we'll take a look at press row. 
Obviously an edge, big edge for uh, Cotto, 98-92 uh, on two of the scorecards and 99-91. Uh, and uh, Antonio, how, what do you have right now? I only gave two rounds to Mayorga. Exactly. And, uh, you know, it was the middle rounds, four, and also seven. Other than that, it's been all Cotto. And again, not to be repetitive, but that set still a highly entertaining fight. Yes, I gave him seven and nine, so I'm, it's the same score arrived at differently. Yeah, this for, for a fight that's one-sided, it's fun to watch and great. Ricardo Mayorga, a big reason. But a, a well-fought uh, fight by Miguel Cotto. Yeah, he's done a lot of things really well. It's just he can't knock Mayorga out, so Mayorga <laughs> stays there. <laughs> what a showman. Ooh. That all you got, Miguel? Uh, he better be careful. Yeah. Left hook. <laughs> no change in the in the expression on Miguel Cotto's face. Unbelievable. A fight breaks into a sparring session. Well, of course, Mayorga said it was going to be a sparring session for him because yeah. it would be so easy, and it has obviously not been that, and I don't think anyone really thought it would be. Now, that was uh, utter bluster. Yeah, but to his credit, man, he's coming here, he's laid it all on the line. Oh, absolutely. And still in the championship rounds, he's going for that knockout. Yeah, he hasn't stopped trying to win. And he's throwing, he's trying to throw as many bombs as he can, you know, that when he can marshal the effort. But he wants Cotto to sit still and let me hit you. That's what he wants. <laughs> just won't apply, it's right. Really. <laughs> Boy, that jab of Miguel Cotto just before, uh, while you guys were talking, the double jab, brilliant. Is keeping Mayorga at the end of it. Mayorga the, talking to him, taunting him. The difference between the demeanor of these two men is stark. It's it's really staggering. Makoto is such a quiet, shy guy. You know, he really is. And in the ring, he's all business. Yep. And Mayorga is all sizzle, but uh, has had some stake in there, too. Yeah, he's gotten a few good shots in. I'd like to see Koto go for this knockout to put an emphasis on this fight uh, tonight. Wouldn't that be a statement of dramatic ending? 11 in the books. This is the last round. You need to go for the knockout. Breathe, breathe. Champ, this is the last one. You got to pressure him. You need a knockout for the victory. The knockout is the victory. Very important. This man will go straight short punches. He's not going to move too much. Take it to him. He's short punches because he's tired of the short shots. He's tired of beating him short punches. Even a jab. This is short jab. Anything short. of the high entertainment. And oh. Oh, my Lord, and he's down. A delayed reaction knockdown. Oh, goodness. Will he be able to continue? He's in terrible shape. He's grabbing his hand as if something has happened to his hand. Yeah, he may have broken his hand. But Yorga, will he continue? He says, yes, let me continue. That is a game person. And remember, he was down in the 12th round against Shane Mosley. Almost a replay of that. They're all standing here at the MGM Grand. And this is what we wanted to see from Cotto. Oh, he's hurt again off a jail. And now he just stands there, and that's it. He says, that's it. And Robert Byrne has stopped it. It's I think over. he might have broke his hand in that combination that they exchanged. But don't take anything away from Cotto. No. That left hook hit perfect. It was a great left hook by Cotto, but there probably was.
was a hand injury to Mayorga, or he probably would have continued because he uh, was able to get up. Or maybe he felt that left hook all the way to the wrist of his left hand. <laughs> That's possible, too. Got hit in the jaw and broke his hand. <laughs> well, a lot of heart uh, displayed there by Ricardo Mayorga in that dramatic 12th, and he looks like he's in agony as they try to get that left yeah, oh, That left hand is I, in I got to wonder pain. why that glove was pulled off that way. <laughs> wow. Be with you. Oof. Yeah, that was not very delicately done. Yeah, I think we'll see in the replay. He exchanged. He probably landed that thing wrong, and in the heat of the action, probably fractured it. We'll see the knockdown, uh, courtesy of a left hook by Miguel Cotto. It's coming here as he as Mayorga attacks. Ooh. Big left hook. And he's holding his hand there. I'm not sure what he hit his hand I didn't on. see it land. I mean, that was just a devastating left hook, and it probably just shook him all throughout. I guess. It's just it's, it's so clearly holding his hand out. We'll get a look at it, and this may give us a better angle. Now, there he kind of hits it on the top of the head of Cotto. It was Cotto's left glove, I think. His hand hit the left glove of Mayorga. Maybe that was it. I think it was a clash of hands. Could have been. I mean, we'll find out, Perhaps. obviously, at some point. But Perhaps. And again, another look at it. Now, we're going to see the left hook land by Cotto. Nothing yet with the left I hand. I don't see anything with the hand. The only thing is prior to that, he had hit the hand on his head of Cotto, but just pushing it there. But I don't know. Yeah, that was bizarre. Yeah, it was strange. Well, there have been many aspects of this fight that have been intriguing, to say the least. Yeah, he may have heard it earlier in the fight. It may have exacerbated it. I know what didn't happen. That Chris left hook hadn't landed all night until yeah. the left. <laughs> what a left hook by Cotto. And you look at the jab uh, count by Cotto. Just, you know, amazing how, how he was able to land those punches. And ultimately, the left hook does in this man. And what else would it be with Cotto? Because that's his punch. And it was an exciting fight throughout. Yes, Mayola was. was in the fight. And you have to really assess it and say, where is Cotto at right now? When you look at the top estimate of the Super Welterweights. Taunted and insulted throughout the fight buildup, Miguel Cotto gets the last word. The word now from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 53 seconds in round number 12. With the fighter electing not to continue, a referee in charge, Robert Bird, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the WBA Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Miguel. So Miguel Cotto ends it the way he wanted to end it, by stoppage. The Cotto family uh, extremely pleased and relieved, I think, yeah. as well. Huh? Tough night to watch uh, when you're watching because uh, there were some rocky moments. But give this man all the credit in the world. He fought a, a tough customer yes, tonight, and he shows us that he still has it as a fighter. And this guy, uh, a, a lot of kudos to him as yes, well. Sir. Ricardo Mayorga unable to uh, recapture a world title belt. But Miguel Cotto, uh, as expected, a nearly 10 to 1 uh, favorite, retains his WBA Super Welterweight title. Let's go up into the ring and Jim Gray with the champ. Jim. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Miguel, congratulations to you. How do you assess this fight and, and the fight that it turned out to be? No, it was great, you know. The whole fight was great. But the finish was amazing. Could you detect what happened there at the finish? I don't know. He 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 said something about his hand, but I, I I'm not sure what happened with his hand. How did you manage to stay so patient and stay within yourself and fight your game and not take the bait? Because on several occasions, Mayorga was begging you to come to him. No, he didn't. He didn't take me off from my calm during the the all the the promotion, promotional things for, around the fight. He doesn't take me off. How come? He's, he's been able. He's been able to do it to everybody else. How did you manage to maintain your calm? No, I just keeping, keeping, keeping in my work, keep myself calm, and just be myself. He's 38 years old. Is he a better fighter than you had anticipated at this point? Did you expect an easier fight? Pretty, pretty, pretty strong fighter. He has pretty strong hands, and he can win 
and he can beat everybody, anybody. All right, let's take a look if we can here on the monitor, Miguel, and tell us what's going on here as the fight, uh, the knockdown here. I think what this hook was the was the one who who decide the fight, the right, the, the left hook, and then the stoppage. Did you realize at that time, just before the stoppage, that he was not going to be able to continue? No, he he he's a tough fighter, as as usual, and I know he's going to continue. Now you said something to us yesterday. You said something to us yesterday in our meeting, which astonished a lot of us that you are now willing to reconsider and wanting to possibly fight Margarito again. What has caused you to reconsider and will you do that? You know, he's, he's, Bob is here. He's the guy in charge, in charge of my career. And as always, we always go for, 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 the, for the way he wants me to go. But you're willing to consider that now? Yeah, you know, we always want the big names and Margarito is one of them. Congratulations to you. Terrific you. fight tonight. It was a good show. Thank you. All right. Ricardo, if we can speak to you. Mr. Gonzalez will be here to interpret what happened there at the end. Give me a second. I just want to say something. Any offense during the pre-fight publicity, it's all promotion. It's all entertainment. He never meant any harm. Is that what he said? Exactly. I didn't hear you. Okay. Ricardo, what happened to you at the end of the fight? Turn around. And it all, it touched all the way to the back of my hand. It doesn't matter, but that's... He goes, I don't care about the thumb. It's the way I lost is what matters to me. I didn't want to lose. Okay, can we look here at the monitor, and as we look at the monitor, trying to describe to us what happened. Describe what happened there. What you see in the images. Ahí, viste, ahí se me fue el dedo para atrás. Ahí, mira. Esta, esta mano, ahí, esa mano no la tengo para atrás ya. Okay, go ahead. He was, my left thumb in one of those combinations, I just felt it hit to the back of my hand, and that's when I started hurting. And then you decided you wanted to continue. What made him change his mind not to continue? Después de ahí que, que levantaste para seguir a pelear, ¿qué sucedió después de eso? Moví el dedo y me volvió. I tried to move my thumb and make a fist and I couldn't. He goes, then I can't, I can't continue. Were you happy with your performance this evening? I can't continue. Were you happy with your performance this evening? Estabas tú contento con ti mismo con la manera que tu 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 actuación esta noche? No, no. Para ser honesto, yo soy hombre y tengo que reconocer lo lo que lo la verdad de la vida. He goes, as a man, I gotta recognize what's good and what's bad, and that happens in life. What, what will you do now? He goes, he hits really hard. I don't take anything. No me dio miedo, pero sí me da duro. But he, he does hit hard. What will he do now? ¿Qué va a hacer ahora? Buscar un trabajo. Ya es hora de retirarme. He goes, I gotta look for a job. It's time no, to retire. No, no more fighting? He goes, I mentioned in, uh, in the interviews that if I lost, I had to retire. Congratulations. You've had a great career, given a lot of people a lot of joy. Yo, thank you for, a la televisión y a este hombre que me hizo tocar la cima. For this gentleman that made me reach the top. Thank him. Congratulations to you on a great career. Thank you, Ricardo. Muchas gracias, señor. All right, Steve, back to you. All right, Jim. Well, if Mayorga didn't respect Cotto before the fight, he sure respects him. Now we got a little uh, news there, too, in uh, the retirement of Mayorga. Scores. And we see the scoring, obviously, a, a big edge for Cotto. Every judge seeing it exactly the way at this time of this at the time of the stoppage so they had him ahead 107 to 102 and press row scoring uh, was very very similar uh, 108 101 on two and 107 one on 102 on the other so everyone's seeing this fight pretty much the same way but as we said one of the most exciting one-sided fights you are ever yeah, going to see no question about it as we uh, wrap things up a very exciting night here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas get to some final thoughts from Antonio and from uh, the esteemed Al Bernstein and Al, uh, uh, your final uh, comments on Mr. Cotto. I'll tell you, I want to, what I want to say about Miguel Cotto is that he will leave behind him a legacy of exciting, thrilling fights and fights in which he showed great skill. That's exactly what happened here tonight. And fights in which he was vulnerable, which made him very entertaining. He's got at least one or two more big fights left in him, I assure you, based upon what we saw here tonight. And as we switch back to the champ, I was going to ask you what's next for Ricardo Mayorga, but he kind of answered that question with Jim Gray in the ring. 
Yeah, you know, he said earlier if he lost, the way he lost, he would consider retirement. We knew if he didn't perform well tonight, he'll be hearing those whispers. But as a man, he stood up and said, you know what, I think it's time for me to find a job. But, hey, take your head off to him. He came, he showed up tonight when no one thought he could. On paper, they thought this fight would be a blowout, and it was anything but that. So my hat goes off to Mayorga. Very highly entertaining fight uh, indeed. Really was uh, thrilling to watch. So uh, we want to remind you don't forget to tune in on May 7th for uh, Pacquiao and Mosley on Showtime pay per view. That should be uh, extremely exciting as well. Let's uh, take a look at the results. Big night uh, of boxing here in Las Vegas. Miguel Vasquez retained his IBF lightweight title with a lopsided unanimous decision over Leonardo Zappavina from uh, Australia. That uh, got things going here at the MGM Grand. And uh, Tommy Zibikowski uh, defeated Rich Bryant with a hard body shot. The end came at the 145 mark of round one for the Baltimore Ravens safety and the former Notre Dame uh, team captain. So Tommy Z goes two for two as a professional fighter. And uh, how about this? Pavel Volok stopped Yuri Foreman after uh, six rounds of their super welterweight fight. A uh, tremendous job uh, throughout by uh, the Polish fighter from New Jersey to beat the uh, Brooklyn's Yuri F uh, Foreman, the future rabbi. And in our main event, wow, what a fight. Miguel Cota retaining his WBA super welterweight title with a 12th round uh, uh, stoppage of Ricardo Mayorga. And there it is, Miguel Cotto, still the WBA super welterweight champion. For Al Bernstein, Antonio Tarver, Jim Gray, and an entire crew, Steve Albert saying so long from Las Vegas, Nevada.